Today I want to harvest some new potatoes. New potatoes are basically just very young potatoes. You don't let them mature and we're going to go ahead and harvest them before the tops have died back. So let me go ahead and get these up out of the garden and we'll head over to the river and make some potato salad. to go ahead and sort these into the smaller ones and the larger ones. I want the larger ones for the potato salad. I also will grab a little bit of dill along with some chives. So let's go ahead and head over here to the river. I will leave the ingredients below the video. You can just highlight that and then right click it if you'd like to print off the ingredients. So I'm going to go ahead and bring some water to a boil. I'm going to generously salt it and once it comes to a boil I'll go ahead and put my potatoes in. Now new potatoes have a thinner skin than mature potatoes and they are much sweeter. They will not take quite as long to cook so I'm going to cook those for probably about 10 to 15 minutes. Meanwhile I'll go ahead and make my dressing. I'm using a homemade lemon garlic mayonnaise and I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of the lemon peel in here by grating it. I'm just grating it from front to back very slowly. I'm using a fine grater just to get off the best part of the lemon peel. I'm not going to scrub it or anything like that. So we'll go ahead and get off um, that and then I want to add some mustard. Just I'm just using a yellow mustard. You can use a Dijon if you like. I'm adding a little bit of lemon juice through a strainer so that I don't put any of the seeds in there. Now we'll give it a good whisk. So I'm going to add some fresh ground black pepper. I'm not adding salt because I'm also using capers in here. Now I'll go ahead and finally chop my herbs, which is just the chives and the dill. And I felt like my dressing was a little bit too thick. I don't want a real rich, thick mayonnaise dressing on the potato salad. I want it to be kind of thin, so I added a little bit of white wine vinegar until I reached the consistency that I was looking for. I just kind of want to coat the potatoes. Now I'm also adding some fresh spinach, and I just thought it would be really good in here. This is a mature leaf, but they are very thin and very fresh. If you don't have uh, fresh spinach from your garden, certainly you can just buy baby spinach at the store if you think you would like spinach in it too. Now I did add just a tiny bit more of the homemade mayonnaise with a little bit more of the vinegar to keep it thin. Um, again, the ingredients will be in the description area below, but those are an estimate. You just kind of have to kind of um, eyeball it. I don't know what kind of mayonnaise you're going to use or the consistency, so you be the judge of that. And now my potatoes are ready, so I want to drain these off in a colander. And now I'm basically just going to break up the potatoes. Um, I'm going to break them up about into thirds, and I'll have some big chunks in there, and I'll have some little pieces in there, and that's perfect. That's exactly the one I'm looking for. I want that variation of textures in the salad. So we'll go ahead and add these. I want to mix it up and make sure everything's looking pretty good and getting coated evenly. And I'll just flake apart a little bit of the smoked salmon that I had smoked um, the night before. And it is chilled, it's not hot. And so there you go, it's just perfect. And of course the salmon is optional as well as the spinach. I think it turned out really nice this way. So I like to serve it at about room temperature and not too cold. I mean, you will chill it, but 
right out of the refrigerator I think it's just too cold so <laughs> and I'm just going to add a little bit more capers to it when I serve it also I'm going to add a little bit of the nasturtium petals and of course a little more dill <laughs> so I hope you can give the recipe a try thank you so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day